Here we go, Chad. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. On today's uh, patch note reading chat, the first descendant, hot fix. Let me turn off my music. I have it here in the background. Bloop. Shut up, Zelda. I love you. Just like I love you, YouTube. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, okay? Or uh, a human loses a tooth, and we hate toothless wonders. The first descendant, hot fix. The first descendant, hot fix 1.1.1. Greetings, descendants. Here we are here to give you details about the patch for the first descendant, hot fix 1.1.1. Applied maintenance free on Thursday. Oh my god, maintenance free chat, maintenance free content improvements, invasion. Improved the mechanics of the Order of Truth dungeon. Removed arch pillars that didn't display any symbols. Improved the arch pillars so now they face towards the inside of the battle arena. Simplified the design of symbols displayed on the arch pillars and reduces the number from six to four. Okay, that's a significant nerf. Okay. Okay, that's pretty big, actually. Fix the issue where skills would continue to target the tumors of the arch pillars, even after they were destroyed. Hmm. Improved pillars or tumors do not regenerate. So this is like a, a high voltage situation because high voltage kept targeting um, the place where the it was already destroyed. Um. Improve the pillars so the tumors do not regenerate after they are destroyed. Reduce the number of hits they need to destroy the arch pillar tumors from 5 to 3. Adjusted the movement path. Dude, this is quite significant. So far, everything that they mentioned has, it has definitely reduced the time it costs you to clear that room by at least one minute. Adjusted the movement path of Ancestor Drone. Reduced the movement speed of the Ancestor Drone. Changed the direction of the symbol displayed above the Ancestor Drone to vertical. Reduced the number of hits needed to destroy the malignant tumor, blocking the door from three to two, allowing it to be cleared in one attempt. Assuming you don't miss a single bullet. Once you miss a bullet or a two, right? Like you'll have to go do it again. But at that point, it's just a skill issue. Increase range and firing rate of the invasion energy emitter. Oh, oh. speaking of chat, sorry to mildly intercut in here with the patch notes. Some of you guys be leaving some very hateful comments in my, in my YouTube just because you don't agree with my opinion. Just because some people don't agree with my opinion, people are over there telling me to kill myself. Like, legit, no cap on a fitty stack. Because somebody in the world differs from your opinion, you want them to kill themselves? That's really weird, bro. That is on some weird stuff. You probably need to get it checked out. Yeah. I've read some comments. Obviously, they got filtered through the YouTube system. Also, by the way, YouTube, hello. I don't ever delete your comments. No matter how negative they are, I don't. YouTube doesn't allow that. Welcome to censorship. I didn't do it. YouTube does it. But anyways, on that note, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. People just want me to, like, kill myself because they have a different opinion than me. Yeah. Anyways, let's get back to this positivity. Positive vibes only, chat. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. But I still think you need to get that checked out. That's a mental issue. Uh, reduce the number of hits needed to destroy the malignant tour tumor. Increase the range of firing rate of the invasion energy emitter. Fixed an issue where gates would receive damage if the descendant would hit a gate with a skill. So they fixed the bug that Enzo had and Bobby had. Increase melee spawn rate. Invasion. Improved the mechanics of the Legion of Immortality dungeon. Remove the limited for artificial brain input after this uh, first supply. Okay. 
Remove the limit for artificial brain input after the first supply. That's pretty big. Change the amount of artificial brains that have been supplied to 20. Change the amount of artificial brains the player can hold from 15 to 10. Huh. Interesting. Move the location of the phase separation Vel generator. I don't know if this is a good change. From 15 to 10. I know it sounds like a nerf, but I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. But the other changes make up for it, so it doesn't matter. Move the location of the phase separation veil generator near the computing unit in battles we named monsters. Invasion. Improve the mechanics of the Legion Darkness dungeon. Adjust the arch tile position to make it easier to identify them. Reduce the arch tile occupation to time for, to three seconds. Simplify the color system uh, symbols displayed. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to stop reading here, chap, on the nerfs. I think I've read enough. It's very apparent and obvious that if you're still struggling with the invasion missions at this point, then um, we, need, we need to step up our game, okay? And if you are a person listening to this and you're still struggling, that's cool, bro. I'm not telling you that you're poop or anything like that. You know, sometimes it happens. And if you need any help and you need any tips or anything, you can leave a comment down below or you can simply join the stream where there's a lot of nice people willing to answer your questions, including myself, and or help you through anything in the game. And I mean that, by the way. If you guys are struggling, that's okay. We all got our, our learning um, curves. Yeah, just like this pee. So, uh, I'm gonna eat tonight. It's curved. Um, let's see. Increase Haley research material rewards available at each clear time in invasion dungeons. Okay, wait. Wait, now you could get five pieces for the invasion? For gold? Hey, that's not bad, chat. That's not bad. So you could get a total of 20, right? If you gold them, you get 20. Damn. Damn, that's really good. Holy moly. Hey, that's good. Okay. Improve the inversion reinforcement skill effects. Okay, I'm not gonna read this. But apparently they changed the way they used to, how they were before. Hmm. Okay. Okay, damn, that's a that's a big buff to HP. It went from max HP 4.7 to 9.5%. That's kind of huge. Same thing with the shields. They're giving people more stuff. Um Yeah, blah 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 Um Void HP is 20% or less during intercept battles grants void adrenaline. <laughs> I still don't understand why this is a thing though. Why why do we need a, a, a negative to have fun? I don't know. I, I don't agree with the decision to hinder our abilities. It, it would be way more fun if we didn't, uh, if we just had a 20% automatically, but whatever. Uh, when landing a firearm critical hit 20% chance of grand hypervision. Um, okay, Chad, so I'm not going to read through this. I'm not going to read through all of this, okay? Um, ba, 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 ba. But uh, the patch notes will be linked down in the description in case you guys wanted to read it slow at your pace there will be down at the bottom hp increase of overwhelming hp has been increased to 19.8 of max shield mm -hmm. uh, so we got some modular change chat shield increase of overwhelming shield has been increased to 20 point 26.8 of max hp um, decreased defense and HP of Pyromaniac standard hard and intercept battles also decreased HP and shield of the hummingbirds which appears in the executioner and Pyromaniac intercept battles okay some intercept battle nerfs I mean I'm, I'm fine with this chat again if you have a problem with them nerfing content that was there from the very first week the game released you got an issue why do you care? 
Why do you care that Pyromania got nerfed? Let it go. This is good for people coming into the game. This is nothing but a positive. Like, nobody wants to, like, kill something that's been there for a long time and still struggling to do it. And let, let, let them have some fun. This is good. Yeah. This is good. Uh, it, yes, it was not necessary, but, like, does it matter to you? Right? Like, sure, it, it was not hard or anything, but, like, it shouldn't matter to you. It's trivial content. You're, most of you guys are going in there with your lepix and one-shotting it anyways. Let it, let it, let it be nerfed. Like, who cares? Yeah. Um, let, let it go, man. Just a fucking Elsa in this and let it go. Um. Let's see, chat. Um, there really isn't a reason why people should be complaining. Oh my god, they're making my game easier. It's Pyromaniac, man. Let it go. Missions have been adjusted to start only uh, after entering a large-scale outpost barricade. Uh, fix an issue where incorrect text prompts were a little, little battlefield. Fix an issue where voltage charge effect. Uh, where the amount of max stacks was incorrectly displayed. Um, descendants fixed an issue where reinforcement distance is incorrectly displayed to be seemed. Um, oh my god, Chad, thank you guys so much for the subs. I'm gonna thank you in a second, okay? Thank you, thank you. Um, thank you. Modules fixed an issue summoning turret with Jaber's turret zone with module effect, skill effect range equipped. Director's note, Chad, these are always good. Greetings, Descendant. This is Director of the First Descendant, Min So Yu. Based on the community feed and data, the dev team has analyzed the success rate of the invasion dungeons are ad and adjusted the difficulty of puzzles in battles against named bosses. Although not yet included in the 1.1.1 update, we are also working on additional matchmaking on adding matchmaking to the invasion dungeons. We are committed to improving this feature so that you can enjoy invasion dungeons with your party as soon as possible. We have also increased the amount of rewards, research materials uh, for Haley that can be obtained in the invasion dungeons. In the 1.10 update, we improved the drop rate of Haley's research materials and infiltration operation rewards based on continuing community feedback about how difficult the farming is we have adjusted the rewards for clearing invasion dungeons so now 12 tw to 20 research materials can be received daily depending on the trophy earned we hope the uh, this adjustment allows more players to farm Haley more easily and enjoy the game we have improved the effectiveness of inversion reinforcement and remove penalties additionally stacking uh stacking wait additionally Stacking conditions have also been reduced, so it is easier to trigger. This enhancement of inversion reinforcement includes a lot of defensive st effects, so we hope it will help defend uh, descendants to make their builds even more aggressive. One of the major changes for this season has been that the usage of hard infiltration operation has seen a significant increase since a season update. The rise in participation stems from increased activity by those farming Haley and the infiltration operation and improved reward efficiency. The dev team hopes that the infiltration operation will become an important farming location. And it is preparing to make adjustment to some sections with traps to provide a better gameplay experience. <laughs> Let's go, finally. In the second update scheduled for October 10th, we plan on introducing infiltration operations of the highest difficulty. We will continue to incorporate your feedback to ensure an even more engaging and fun battle experience. Oh my God, Chad. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Okay. So here's a couple of uh, little notes that I'll say before we end this video for YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Um, a couple of things that I want to say. Um, I am really happy that they're uh, uh, an analyzing the data, so they are adjusting accordingly. This is good, good dev stuff. Um, they're um, going to make it so it's 
uh, less stopping and more go, go, go on your current infiltration operation systems. They're trying to make it a little bit better by removing traps or something they said. Um, maybe they're lasers and stuff. So people are not stopping. And so people are just going, I'm assuming it has to do with some of the laser placements. I'm assuming it has something to do with, you know, the less fun stuff, maybe a door that's that locks away. So this is good, but they're also planning to add the highest difficulty of, of infiltration operations. Chad. We plan to on introducing infiltration operations of the highest difficulty. So they will be adding hard difficulty to the infiltration operations, which I'm not mad at. This is good. It gives us something to do. Hopefully they also do this for, um, yeah, no, no, this is good. Nothing but good things. Yeah, I like it. I like this. The patch note is pretty sweet and simple chat straight, straight to the point TLDR. Um, they made infiltration as a systems better. If you were struggling to clear um, some of them, you will probably have no issue now. And if you do, just, you know what? Don't give up. Just go at it again and again and again and again. Do you get it? Also, make sure that you are using some of these buffs that are really good to build your defenses. That way you can build your uh, offense a little bit stronger. Um, but yeah, chat. W, 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 W. Nothing but wins here. Okay, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscription, YouTube. Uh, let's log in, chat. Log in. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.